Deep on the web and protesting in the streets exist an unusual group of people who see collusion and collaboration controlling their very existence. Their view of the world is unusual and even alien to some, but by understanding the natural forces that create this taboo, we can learn a lot about not only ourselves as individuals, but our entire species as a whole. This is the mind of the conspiracy theorist. This video is a part of a collaboration series called The 12 Days of Christmas, where I and other YouTubers make 12 videos to accommodate the 12 days leading up to Christmas. There's a playlist with other videos linked down below. Conspiracy theories. Whether you love them or find them to be an annoyance, they exist, and seemingly in all forms. But why? What possesses people to believe that some aspect of their lives is being controlled by a colluding group of people who have nefarious intentions? Well. There's many reasons, which include but are not limited to things out of our control, the brain connecting dots, the cognitive dissonance felt when a belief contradicts reality, hard times or suffering, or even sudden change to one's environment. The process to becoming a conspiracist starts with the trigger. This is usually an event that starts the ball rolling. This event can be as mundane as losing keys, having someone tell you you're wrong about something, or even air conditioning being the wrong temperature, to something extreme like a natural disaster or a terror attack. The next step in the process happens beyond someone's control when their natural instincts kick in. The amygdala, the part of the brain responsible for processing emotional and social information, is activated, kicking the analytical part of the brain into overdrive in an attempt to make sense of the situation. Generally this leads to a logical conclusion that the brain is satisfied with, and that's where it ends. Other times it leads to something that is filled with gaps, which the brain will continue to try and solve, which can lead to speculation and illogical conclusion. After that, the person will continue to tumble down the rabbit hole where every new bit of information activates the reward centers of the brain, and the person gets a rush of dopamine, similar to a heroin addict shooting up. If the person is at a low point in their lives, experiencing depression, hard times, or suffering, they may become addicted to the rush, and the cycle will repeat. This person just became a conspiracy theorist. Put simply, trigger, dot connecting, conclusion, dopamine, confirm bias, more dopamine, repeat. Here are some examples. This is Jason. He sees the towers come down, he doesn't know why or how, and is in shock and awe at the event. He speculates and finds an explanation of collusion that makes sense. An answer is found, a good feeling is achieved, and he researches more and finds others who agree and give more ideas reaffirming his bias. A good feeling is achieved again and the cycle repeats. This is Sarah and Todd. They are a part of opposing political groups. Both had the political party they support lose power recently, but were told that their party would win because they only receive information from sources that they agree with. Because of their belief that their party would win, they imagine ways that their desired candidate would have lost, other than them simply not getting enough votes. They assume foul play and look for evidence to conform to this bias. The reward centers are activated, and the cycle repeats. This is Mark. He's a creationist who believes the Earth is 6,000 years old and was created by God. In order to hold this belief, he must deny the overwhelming evidence to the contrary. He finds a way to rationalize this by coming up with a conspiracy theory that the government is trying to push people away from God, that scientists are fabricating lies for money, or because they are afraid to speak out about the so-called truth, in order to relieve his cognitive dissonance. He looks for faulty evidence that conforms to his bias and his reward centers are activated. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Many people believe conspiracy theories, and in each case it's a bit different which is true for any human behavior. The motivation is different because all people are different. Conspiracy theorists are not a minority either. In the US, 63% of the population follow at least one conspiracy theory, meaning that conspiracy theorists are a statistical majority. That's more people than any one religion in the US. Even the people who claim to be rational or intelligent can fall victim to conspiracy theories. Take for example the recent adpocalypse on YouTube. People from all places and positions have made claims of foul play with demonetizations, which I'll talk a bit more about in a future video. We are all cut from the same cloth, and we all have innate biological functions that can lead us all to this way of thinking. Now, one might think after hearing this that since it's natural, it's a good thing, or it's beneficial to our species somehow because it's the result of evolved traits. But the truth is, being sucked into conspiracy theories can be detrimental to your mental health. It can harm your social life and can lead to reckless or even dangerous behavior, not to mention the fact that they are often based off inaccurate information, which on its own is bad enough. 
Just because something happens as a result of evolution doesn't mean it's good. Moths will kill themselves when artificial light from a candle or a lantern is present because they are naturally attracted to light. Now, before I finish this video, it should be said that sometimes conspiracy theories turn out to be true, which is why it's important to follow the evidence wherever it leads. Don't be afraid of being wrong, or being right for that matter, and think critically and skeptically when presented with information, because in a world as crazy as ours, you never know what you'll find. Like I said earlier, this video is part of a video collaboration series called The 12 Days of Cringemas, which I and multiple other YouTubers have created videos for. So if you get the chance, go and check out the other videos that came before me. They should be in a similar format to this one, on different subjects, so no matter what you're into, there's something there for everyone. The playlist is linked down below, so enjoy, have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a wonderful day.